Well, so I'm going to start on Shauna here. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to give it a sort of a dis we're going to do a little disconnected haircut. Um, I mean, we, she wants it to be sh even shorter than what we've got here. So we're going to really share over comb all of this, leave her little doodad here like that, and we're going to bring it around. She wants to have like a little bit of a tail guy coming down here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to make it a little smaller than it is right now. So really get this up tight. And then we're going to even it out on the other side. So it's going to be sort of hockey and then coming down to a little bit of a point in the back. <laughs> you have any tricks? Well, my most important trick that I um, follow is only using an inch of my comb. So I don't try and cut the whole length of my shear. I just use about an inch of it. And I usually will use about this inch right here. So not the very tip of my comb and not too far in. This way it can get some of my previously cut hair and the hair I haven't cut yet. So I have a guide. And you have to continually move your comb and your shears have to move pretty fast and everything has to move together in one motion. Shauna's making it a little bit easier because she's got this color that I'm removing so it makes it a lot easier. If I leave a little white, I know it's a little long. Can you speak up? Yes, definitely dry. <laughs> um, when the hair's wet, it can kind of clump together a little bit more. When it's dry, you can see where it's going to um, lay. You can see the growth pattern more than when it's wet. So I usually will do that. Now, um, I usually like to do that first and then shampoo afterwards so that I don't have to like shampoo, dry, get it wet again to cut the rest of it. But if someone has a ton of product in their hair, you might have to do that. Here's the one instance in where I will use my white teeth comb is when I'm removing a lot of length. So here I was sort of not removing a lot of length, just sort of smoothing it out, right? making it shorter. And here we're gonna be removing length. So I'm gonna start by removing bulk and length, which is my wide teeth, and then I'm gonna go back through and fine tune it with my fine teeth. White, even though it's not really white, it's that lightest blonde color that we talked, it's not really white, but it's the lightest blonde color, and then it's just evenly. So that makes five, six sort of as the middle, right? Sort of medium. And then everything lighter than six is lightish, and everything darker than six is darkish, you know, sort of. And then it just gets darker or lighter. Six, about a six. So she was, you know, yeah, sort of a dark blonde. And in fact, if, if they they also call them um, the English uh, black, darkest brown. Medium brown, uh, light brown, lightest brown, dark blonde, maybe four, five, six. They're sort of the brownish people. So you take the brownish people are always the ones like you that wake up and think, I want to be blonde. You know, I want to be blonde. So when you take a level five and you put you know, L'Oreal Ultra Light Ash Blonde on a level five, now, if you looked in the box, it would show you if it would have a little... They look at the woman on the front of the box, right? And they, so they, they think, so I put the ultra-light ash blonde all over her roots and ends. Now, her regrowth, which is here, that's going to turn an orangey color. And the first time, it's all going to be this warm color. And then the second time we put it on, that regrowth, again, is going to turn an orangey color, but it's already been on this part, so that's going to get lighter, 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 right? So lighter, 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 orange to, like the rings of a tree goes orange to yellow to white, orange to yellow to white after a while. So if you see those people, it usually only works on fine-haired people like maybe you. Like you would be one of those people that whose hair was fine enough to get actually white on the ends by having some stuff on over and over and over. So when you see those people in the store, or even more likely you go down the escalator and you see the woman with the... Um, sort of burgundy roots, burgundy roots, and then the really dark ends. You see that a lot. 
because she used to color her hair like a level four or five. So she used to say I'm a dark brown person because she's probably Hispanic, so darker skin, darker, darker hair person. But then she decided, oh, I want to be one of those. Uh, I'm trying to fade this a little bit. So I'm coming around sort of against her hair growth. She's got kind of this nice little swoop going on here. So I'm taking my comb and holding it at an angle. Her head's down, so I'm holding it straight up. So that I'm getting a little bit of an angle here, so I'm just fading it. And I'm just sort of pivoting my comb to come this way to sort of follow right along there. start moving my shears sort of like if you held a dog above water it'll go like this before you drop it in it's sort of the same sort of idea you got to get the motion moving and you'll get less of a chunk right out of it make sense do you do the side the sideburns. My little sideburns. Well, I'm trying to even them up. I want to keep them kind of on the longer side, though. Oh, okay. So I was kind of dropping them out. Thank you. 